Hey guys, it's Megan. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I made these DIY Pura Vida inspired bracelets. You guys know I hate long intros, so let's just get into it. For this project, you'll need some wax string. I got this big pack on Amazon, and I'll make sure to link it down below for you guys. You'll also need some scissors and a lighter. Start by picking the colors for your bracelet. You can use as many colors as you want, but I chose light brown, green, and dark brown for this one. For the main portion of the bracelet, cut nine pieces of string that are six inches long. For the strings that you pull to close the bracelet, cut two pieces of string that are eight inches long. And for the square knot closure, cut one piece of string that is four to six inches long. Start by grouping all of the six inch pieces together. Take one of the eight inch pieces and tie it around the end of the group of strings. Secure it by wrapping the strings to the other side and tying another knot. Use your lighter to melt the ends of the group of nine strings together, being careful not to melt the string that we tied around them. I let the strings at the end burn for a second or two before blowing out the flame, and I repeated this until the ends were completely melted together. You might have to press the melted ends together with your fingers to get them to stick together. Make sure to be very careful when doing this. When that's done, separate the piece that we tied around the end from the other nine pieces. So you should have two pieces that are about four inches long now since the original piece was eight inches long. Take each of the shorter strings and twist them individually. After you've twisted both of the strings, bring them together and then twist them together. When you're happy with how it looks, tie a knot at the end to secure it, and burn the ends of the knot. At this point, you have a few different choices. You could leave the strings as they are for a traditional Pura Vida style bracelet, or you could braid the main strings together for a different look. You could also add a charm or a button in the middle of the bracelet, like I did for these bracelets that I made for my recent trip to Disney World. In any case, when you're happy with the main part of the bracelet, tie the other 8 inch piece of string around the opposite end of the bracelet, the exact same way that we did before. Finish off this end the same way, using a lighter to melt the ends of the group of 9 strings together. And just like we did before, twist one of the remaining strings by itself, then twist the other one by itself, and twist them together. Tie a knot at the end, and use a lighter to melt the ends of the knot. If you want to add a little charm, like on the real Pura Vida bracelets, add it to one of the strings before you start twisting it. To make the adjustable closure for the bracelet, bring the ends together and secure it to your work surface with a piece of tape. Tie the smallest piece of string that we cut earlier around the twisted ends, and then make a few square knots. To make a square knot, bring the left string over the middle strings, making the number 4. Bring the right string over the end of the left, under the two middle strings, and up through the loop. Now, for the right side, bring the right string over the middle strings, this time making a backwards four. Bring the left string over the end of the right, under the two middle strings, and up through the loop. Repeat this, alternating between the left and the right about four or five times. When you're done, cut off any excess string and use a lighter to secure the closure. And that's it! Now you have your very own Pura Vida inspired bracelet. This is a really fun and easy project to do, and these bracelets can be made in under 15 minutes once you get the hang of it. I paid about $18 for a pack of 28 colors of string, which is about the same price as three basic Pura Vida bracelets. I've already made about 20 bracelets, and I still have a ton of string left. Of course, the real Pura Vida bracelets are really nice and they donate to a bunch of great causes, but if you want something that's a little less expensive and a little bit more customizable, this is definitely the way to go. So thank you guys so so much for watching! I know that this was kind of a shorter video, but don't worry, I have another sketchbook ideas video coming probably on Sunday, I just wanted to have something up for you guys in the meantime. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, it is at WellerMegs, and yeah, I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!